So I've done a few things that I think will actually make me a little bitter of a warlock. So first of all, I completely forgot entirely, and you probably uh, <laughs> probably noticed this, that I forgot to have my pet out last episode. So I've got, uh, I, I literally, like Grimthick, how am I going to forget Grimthick? You know, he's been with us through a lot of it. Um... I also, where's my collections? I want to summon, let's get, dismiss? Oh, he's already here. Okay, great. Panda Cope's still there. Um, but yeah, so I forgot my Voidwalker the entire episode last time. Like, I just didn't, wasn't even considering it. Um, for some reason, I was thinking destruction spec. I was like, oh, there's no demons with destruction spec, which obviously makes no sense. Um, okay, so I've got Grim Thick out. I've assigned the control keys to these, this other hotbar for now. And I've done a little bit of rearranging of my hotbar and I added some skills that I hadn't been using, um, like Curse of Weakness, I put Curse of Exhaustion, Corruption, I moved Health Funnel over. Um, I think what I, and I, and of course I specced into this and didn't use it at all. Last episode was Dark Soul and Stability. 30% um, increased crit chance for 20 seconds every two minutes, instant cast. This seems really, really good. <laughs> so, um, my, and I, I briefly looked at rotations on ICV, but not, I haven't like really put it to memory yet, but my thought is I need to be using Channel Demon Fire a little bit more, probably. Um, but it seems like basically build up soul shards, cast a, um, can flag, and then cast like a quicker duration chaos bolt, a shorter cast time chaos bolt. Something like that for soloing at least. Um, I put my pet on follow and defensive, so it's a little bit easier to manage. Um, but I think I'll be a little bit more formidable now. Instead of so literally soloing stuff without my pet, even though I should have used my pet all along. And uh, whoops. Anyway, so um, a, a little bit. Better, I think. Okay, Runner Hippogriff, what are we doing now? That's a nice view. Nice view of nothing, I guess, kind of, to be honest, but you know, nice view. So, um, we're locating Harold Delora. Okay. Those big, beefy bone giants we blew up earlier. Ooh, a colossal plague spreader. That's kind of cool. They're just throwing, <laughs> they're just throwing like canisters of that. Oh, where are we going? Poison stuff. Uh, up here. Looks like there's Harold Delora. Anyway, so yeah, so I'm, I'm kind of figuring it out on my own a little bit here. Um, it's kind of half the fun for me. It's sort of just kind of playing through my character and figuring out how to manage them again. It's been a while. But. Another Defiant Soul. Don't think so, bro. Don't think so. That's scary. Alright, let's get out of here. <laughs> we found them. Let's get out of here. I appreciate this quest. It's like, okay. Let's go, um... Oh, I want to blow stuff up now. Hurl a hammer. Mark an enemy signaling allied raiders to attack it. Okay. Just start throwing hammers. Oh, these are going to blow things up. Good, good. These are always kind of fun quests for me, even though they're, like extremely I mean like they're obviously super easy it's kind of the point they're just kind of supposed to be fun let's mark that bad boy um but otherwise yeah I'm just kind of throwing hammers throwing hammers nothing wrong with that <laughs> look at those guys Ooh. seriously that like artillery we're calling in making things happen um why is that that blow up here? Does it kill that? I don't think it would kill it. It's a it's a beefy boy. It takes like three hammers to kill him. Okay. Blow up that. Blow up that. Blow up that. Almost done. A few more rounds of this. But it's kind of these. I, I always sort of appreciate these quests, even though they're just sort of time sinks. Like it's really not. There's no skill involved, right? Just kind of fun. Um, the mechanic has gotten a little old for me. I think my all-time favorite one is the one where we drop, like, poop on mobs. I forget where we were for that. It was pretty late in the leveling series um, for this guy. 
But we just, like, flew around and threw, like, bat guano at things, I believe. Which I thought was, just, like, a fun way to do it. Um, so I don't, I don't mind these quests, to be clear. Like, I actually do enjoy them. But I've done them a lot now. I mean, they probably... They must use at least a couple of these quests every expansion. Um, if not more than that. Starting in, I think, Wrath of Lich King is the first time I saw it. I don't think it existed in Burning Crusade content. Maybe now it does. They might have gone back and added stuff. I don't think so, though. Oh, you have my attention. oh um, Argent Commendation. How is this? Okay, got it. Uh, okay, quest completed. We may not know... Oh, we almost hadn't realized how close we were to finishing the uh, this, this like, little quest line here. We'll unlock access to the following additional daily quest and ice crown. Okay. We may not know who this Dark Her Herald serves, but it is clear that the message she brings has emboldened Scourge and the Cult of the Damned alike. This cannot be allowed to continue. We must vanquish her and strike a, de a definitive blow against her master's new minions. Lead the charge, Superlock. The Argent Crusade stands with you. Light willing will put an end to this madness here now. Okay. Time is right. Signal our allies, and we shall bring this monster down together. Okay. Hmm. We wait. Our quest to kill the Thanos. Whoa! I didn't realize that. The one we grabbed last episode for Eastern Plaguelands. Oh. Huh. Wow. That's a big. That's a big thing. If we actually kill him, I feel like he's gonna get away. There's no way we actually kill that guy, right? Or he's like resurrected or something. Anyway, um, I just marked on here. I have eight badges to track the Argent or the commendation signets, I guess. Uh, so I kind of figured out that what we need to do is collect as many as we can. Probably doing daily quests and other quests um, between now and launch in a few days. Today's Friday, the twentieth, so I've got a couple days. I may play a little bit on my own just to try and get a few more of them, and then buy as many of those things as I can from the quartermaster to boost my item level up. That's, I guess, the way to prepare and kind of catch up. So I will probably do as much of those as I can. I might do some on my own time, like even without recording it. Um, just doing some of the daily quests, just to get a little better start when we get into Shadowlands. I think it'll make the leveling process a bit smoother for me overall. How do we get in there? Uh, is the entrance on this side? Looks like it is. I think it's where we were. What? Seek the warmth at a bonfire? Not allow the cold to deter our efforts. Seek warmth among allies, champion. Or just get inside and blow stuff up. I don't know. Sure. Um. Okay, and then I guess if I do something like you know like this, then I can. I don't have enough. So why can't I do this? Emulate. This cannot affect afflict by emulate. Am I mistaken on how that works? It's like channel demon fire. Do I hold on a sec. Um, destruction. Do I not have channel demon fire as a spell anymore? Am I like just totally completely mistaken on this? Uh, warlock. Okay. I don't see channel demon fire anywhere here. Okay. I mean, it would be under C and not D, right? It wouldn't be under Demon Fire? No, okay. And then Destruction, Channel... Oops. Channel Demon Fire. I don't see it anywhere here. Am I not able to use this ability anymore? I don't even get an error message when I try to use it. Let's... Okay, let's emulate this target. And... I, I'm just going to move that here. It feels strange, like, I guess, I don't know why it's on my hotbar, but I can't seem to use it. Um, oh, that's interesting. I'll figure that out. Oh, might as well move these down a little bit. Coin of many faces. I don't really like that one. Take it off. All right, let's, uh, start blasting. Whoa. I do not appreciate the, uh, 
the jumping on me thing going on here. I went ahead and used Dark Soul and Stability because why else do I have it? A silence? That's annoying. I'm just gonna melee this mob, I guess. <laughs> I don't know what to do now. Um, the darkness. Okay. Well, this is not a complicated fight, obviously. Um, can I stun this thing? Oh, get out of there. There we go. No more silence for me. That, that are those evasive actions of me slowly, slowly walking out of a very slow AoE spell. So good at this game. I guess I could have done that curse. Uh, just the end of it. Let us return with word of this creature's defeat. That was easy enough. Let's go. Alright, out we go. Um, oh, that, was, that was fine. So I think it's the last quest of this quest line. What are these? Are these like rare spawns? What are these things? I kind of want to go try and find some of those mobs before we leave. So what is this? Lady Death Whisper. Okay, I'm just gonna go kind of this general direction. Boy, I read a big, big boy. Lady Death Whisper. So what happens if I just go? What, what are you doing? Don't, don't, don't attack that. I guess it's fine. Can we kill this thing? Oh, it's leaving. Even better. Um. Slow its attack speed. I have no idea if this thing is going to just like nuke me. Oh yeah, this thing's going to nuke me, isn't it? <laughs> Whoops. Not a decision. What? <laughs> okay, uh, recap. Uh, 12,000 damage. How much health do I even have? Yeah, it literally just one shot me. Okay, well, um. Ah. Uh, so those, those things must require a group to kill? That wasn't even close. I knew it was a couple levels. Oh, you know what? Yeah, and there's a couple levels above me. Oh, <laughs> whoops. Um, sure, just do this. I knew it was a couple levels above me. I didn't realize it was like just gonna blow me up like that. Like I don't know, it just didn't click. All right, let's set these guys up. Let's get. Our Void Walker back. Let's get Panda Cub back, and let's go turn in our quest to never, ever, ever fight those mobs again. Uh, patchwork is out here. What? They resurrected that that boy. We're getting rid of face patchwork over in um in Classic WoW. He next Ramus launches early December. Um, I mentioned this already, but my guild, we're, you know, gearing up, we're stocking up on supplies, consumables. Um, I think we'll do pretty well in next. I don't know if we'll clear it, at least not for a while, but I think we'll eventually get it. Um, if you're curious about it, if you don't really follow my classic stuff, you should maybe keep an eye out. I might have a video on that at some point on my druid, um, where I tank as a feral druid, which is kind of cool. In vanilla, it's kind of an interesting. It's a sort of a tricky challenge, but frankly, I main tank everything uh, for our guild. I mean, we have other tanks that also main tank stuff. Um, we have a warrior, another feral tank, but I mean, I've tanked every boss in the game on that guy, and it's perfectly fine. It, like, is in some cases better than a warrior, depending on what you're trying to do, and depending on your guild's composition. But uh, enough about that. Let's turn in our quest over here. All right. Only shadows remain. It seems that el eliminating the herald has slowed the scourge's advance. We'll have to remain vigilant. Thank you for all you have done, Superlock. So five commendation, commendations, and then continued effort. With hope in hand, establish a portal to Stormwind at the Argent Tournament Grounds. Deliver the news to Gan Greymane. Okay. Cover six salvaged goods and kill three wretched watchers in the Valley of Fallen Heroes. All right, so this is like the repeatable quests. What other repeatable quests are there around here? You know what I kind of want to do? I'm just going to do this one real fast since we're right here. What's the reward for this? Three of these commendations. I don't know how much it costs per gear piece. I didn't pay attention at the Quartermaster. 
but it definitely seems like this is the way to go for me to really catch up. Searching. Okay, let's loot that. You know what I did there? I I held shift. I forgot that um auto loot is like default setting in modern well. I'm used to classic where I don't have it auto loot. You can set it to be the default, but I don't usually. You like to use it three wretched watchers. Where are the wretched watchers at? I don't know. We'll kill these guys for now. You don't need to be using more as Havoc. So that my skills... Oh, you know what? Does, do I have... Um... Yeah. So Chaos Bolt damage is increased because of the talent I have, but it doesn't work with Havoc anymore. Um, which isn't necessarily a big deal. It just kind of depends on what I'm trying to do. But... Uh... Yeah. Point being, I just need to keep in mind that I can... Uh... Use Havoc when I'm doing single target stuff. Uh, let's loot up a few more of these crates, three more crates. We gotta find the Wretched Watchers. I don't know where those are. Oh, they're the Fly Boys. Okay, that makes sense. As that makes a lot of sense. Alright, let's pull this guy down here. Can uh, Grimthick hit that guy? Doesn't really matter, I guess. I'll just blow that guy up myself. Okay. Um, there's another one. Kind of flying away from me. That's a little annoying. I have to like chase him down or something. Um, do that in a moment. What is that? Emergency flare. Oh, I see. So that's how you call those things down. Interesting. That makes a lot more sense. I was like, how do you even get these guys? Like, they're kind of out of reach. Um, Alright, let's kill this one real quick. Load this up. Alright, let's call down one of these bad boys. Alright, let's do that. Bam, got him. Oh, it actually does some damage too, that's fun. I like it. I like that a lot. Alright. That seems like an easy enough quest to do while we're here. I was gonna kinda go grab those other ones that I saw. Um, there was a, some more daily quests over here. I was thinking of doing all of them together, but I figured these are right here. So I might as well just do them while I'm here. This one is, anyway. Um, Let's grab this, let's ignore that guy, let's flare that, boom. Alright, it's a bit of the last one we need to kill, so. Um, so I'm going to get in the habit of trying to use Curse of Weakness. I don't know what the best curse would be, um, but that seems like a reasonable one. Especially on mobs that actually hit hard enough to make it matter. Okay, so ready for turn in, let's go do that. Um, but yeah, I think I'm, I had a feeling it might have been like 10 pieces of the, um, these Argent Commendations. It might have been 10 per gear. I don't remember. But if I'm getting three per daily quest over here, I assume this is a daily quest. I don't actually know if he calls it a daily quest. 23 gold. That seems like so much gold. What is this? Bonfire. Oh, those are the bonfires that warm you up in the cold. Okay, got it. Cool. It's good to know. Um... Okay. Portal of the Stormwind goes over there to establish that. Do I get anything for establishing that? Just some gold? Okay. Let's go check the daily quests over there, see if there's anything of interest. But otherwise, I'm just going to go like these two. Um, I might do both of these and then turn in with hope in hand and go back to Stormwind. Because um, then we can maybe capitalize on a few of these, turn some in to get some... Uh, Get some new gear for ourselves. I can't believe how bad we got blown up by that mob. The, uh, what was her name? Lady Death Whisper, is that the one we fought? Like, it wasn't even close. Oh my gosh. It was, like, straight up. Our Void Walker got punched, like, twice and died. Maybe three hits. And then we took one Shadow Bolt to the face, and it was, like, three... Probably, like, 30% above what it needed to one-shot us. <laughs> it wasn't even, like, it, like I said, it was not even remotely close. Okay, suppose there's like a quest giver here. All right, here we go, what's going on? Kill six dark ritualists and six dark zealots. Okay, where are they at? Oh, they're like, literally, <laughs> like, they're literally right here. Okay, that's fine. Perfect, let's, uh, 
I'll just pull a few of these and try and do this a little bit different than I normally do. Alright, here we go. AoE time. Let's make some stuff happen. Alright. Cool. Hey, look at that. AoE mobs. I like that. Right? Alright. I feel like this is what I'm supposed, I'm supposed to play Modern WoW, but I always play it like the slow roll way where I'm like, oh, I'm going to pull one mob at a time and people are <laughs> like, it's, it probably looks incredibly slow paced and goofy to most people, but I don't know. It seems to be um, how I feel like it makes most sense for me, but it, it's obviously just way too slow for really no good reason. I don't know what skill I have that's calling on that extra infernal. I must have specced into something because I feel like it's not like a, a base skill. I need more Dark Ritualists, apparently, not these guys. I'm just going to whack this guy with my weapon, and that's pointless. Ritualist, here we go. Let's get that. There's so many Dark Zealots, but I need Ritualists. This would be a nice, easy quest, at least. Any good stuff I'm getting here? She has a goat with minimal next. What are, what are the goat shears for? Like, I don't really know how I got those. I don't really remember, but oh, I didn't even rain a fire that guy. I pull that, put havoc on that, blast that, let's blast this one. Cataclysm. So that guy's attacks for really no reason. Maybe, uh, let's see, rain of fire, sure. All done. Easy enough. Okay. So the Darkened Scourge Stones, I'm wondering if those get turned in in exchange for uh, Argent Dawn, Argent Commendations. That's kind of what I'm thinking they do, but I haven't seen any use for them yet. Alright, another one done. Getting some dailies done, folks. Look at me. I'm like a real, real wow boy. And I think even understand what I'm doing with them. Like, I collect those guys, the commendations, and I... It's a fight going on over there. That's kind of cool. I collect them. Oh, but there's the quest I'm looking for. Right up ahead. There we go. I collect them, turn them in, get some new gear. Too many whelps. Kill four worm reanimators and 12 frost brood whelps. Where is this at? There's another one here. Okay. Strange Scourge Stones. Click to Darken Scourge Stones and Pitch Black Scourge Stones from Undead Forces and Ice Crown. Okay. How many do I need to collect? Oh, I see. So apparently... Okay, interesting. Um, well, I'll go to this quest. Darkened or Pitch Black Scourge Stones. So I already got a bunch of them. Do they not count towards it? It's like, as I have to collect them to get credit? Seems kind of silly. Like having some doesn't do anything for me, it looks like. I'm just going to do these here. Um, we'll probably get some more as we kill these whelps at least. So. Uh, okay. Chilling winds. Seek comfort at a bonfire. I think I'm fine. I don't think it does that much damage to me. Maybe I'm mistaken on that. Um, I guess I just AoE these things, but maybe I'm a little bit slow on that AoE. You know who does get hit? Maybe Grimthick's getting messed up? Alright. I'm gonna help funnel Grimthick for a moment here. Top him off a little bit. Gotta keep your boy up, you know? Uh, he's... he's... Integral. Integral? Integral to my success. Goat for I don't know that I gotta go figure out where that quest's at. <laughs> um, I'm trying to pull these mobs together in some way, so I can do one of these and one of those, and there we go. Yeah, I don't know how good Rain of Fire. It seems like it's fine. Like I, I'm kind of getting the impression does a modest amount of damage, but isn't anything incredible. 
All right, let's open up with one of these. Nice. So how many of these do I have to kill? Uh, eight more, not even eight. I don't know what this guy's doing here, but I don't think he has anything to do with <laughs> this quest at all. But he's just kind of hanging, so I'm going to kill him. Getting some gold. Sure, why not? These eggs hatch if I run on them. Lame. I'm thinking of, uh, so used to Black Rock Depths in, uh, Classic, where, uh, not Black Rock Depths, Upper Black Rock Spire, where, uh, as soon as you walk by those eggs, uh, before you get to rend Black Hand, they all, like, pop up a bunch of little dudes. Oh, I got, okay, so 10%. So getting one of those is 10% of what I need. That's not too bad. The drop rate hasn't been too bad on those things. The darkened Scourge Stones. Um, I guess I could just go farm them up for a little bit. Like, I'm, I don't know, do I want to do that? I don't know if I really feel like doing that. It seems kind of boring. <laughs> and, like, frankly, I'm like, eh, it's fine, but... I'm looking at all these zones that I never even explored. Grizzly Hills was a cool zone, if I remember right. Zoldrek, I literally never walked into. Boring Tundra, that's what people called it. I don't know if it was that boring, but I, I never really checked it out too much. Um, Alright, let's go turn in this quest. Too many whelps. Alright. Um, let's go do the Stormwind quest. Cause frankly, I, I wonder if this quest will complete on its own, or if I'm doing other zones, if these will drop, you know? So I don't necessarily need to stick here and work on this quest in this spot. Um, maybe? So I don't think I'm going to do that. Um, portal to Stormwind established. Is this where I need to be? Here we go. Take me to Stormwind. I was like, uh, nothing's happening. <laughs> For a moment there, I was like, um... Alright, Stormwind time. Let's get some gear. I hope I have enough. I, I hope it's like 5 to 10 commendations. Here, perfect. It's like exactly where I wanted to land. Um, good luck on your journey. I made the epics be with you. Okay. Okay, okay. So here we go. So it takes 15 of these. I have 22. And then I could also get a companion, which sounds fun. I'm guessing his companion goes away after this. Or an anti-doom broom. That seems kind of fun. So the gear is 15. So what's the biggest percent upgrade? It's a 99% upgrade. Why is it so high? Interesting. I don't know. I'm basically just going to go off of the item level I have versus the item level I'll get. So like this is an item level of 63. This one's a 100. It's a plus 37. Like, uh, you know. So I think that's the way to go. I mean, I don't know. It seems reasonable. I don't know if there's any piece specifically the best thing. I feel like a lot of times, like, chest pieces have the most stats on them. I don't know if that really makes sense, but I kind of feel like that's true. So this chest piece is 25 int, 46 stamina, 28 crit, 17 mastery. I think it's similar. So let's just go with the one with the highest overall upgrade. I think that's the way to do this. So my item level is going to go from 60 to... 62. So a two item level for one piece I think is pretty good. Um, I don't know if I love the way that looks compared to my other gear, but that's fine. <laughs> I'm not, like, look, uh, beggars can't be choosers, right? Like, oh, you know what? Let's use an inky black potion. I haven't used that in a long time. Those are kind of fun sometimes. Um, okay, with hope in hand. I've got a quest to turn in over here. With hope in hand. All right, let's go turn that in. And then I guess the next one is the Nathanos Blightcaller Slaying Quest. It's probably we're going to work towards. Um, let's go turn this quest, though. I don't know. What, what is this quest? Okay, it's just the return from establishing the portal. Okay. For country. For Hope in hand. These are grim tidings, Superlock, it seems. The Banshee has aligned herself with a darker power than we know. Death Rising Achievement. Work with our allies to keep the scourge at bay. 
We cannot allow that menace to overrun our kingdoms. Okay. I'll send word to the Knights of the Ebon Blade. If anyone can devise a strategy to rescue our friends, it's Bolvar Fordragon. Yeah. When the hour comes, we will call upon you to face the darkness and bring our allies home. Okay, okay. We can do that. Um, but now, how do I do this quest? So I need to get all the way up there. Um, I guess like the flight master, <laughs> like, I don't know. It seems reasonable. So this seems like maybe it's a shorter quest line. Like the one we just did give us that achievement that was said, it literally, um, reads complete the death rising storyline leading up to the events of Shadowlands. So it's basically that, that to me is like, that's the major storyline that leads up to things here. We're seeing the scourge kind of move in, we're seeing some scary stuff happen. And we're kind of getting to start on it. Now the, the flight master, how do I know the flight master? Like, it was a flight master. I was like, I know the flight master's here. I've been a storm one before. I don't play Alliance in classic much, but I know it didn't move. So, I mean, I guess it's probably a faster way to get up here. Duration, eight minutes. Okay. Uh, is that actually faster than just manually flying? I don't even know if that's true. Sure. Um, you know, I'm just gonna speed up the video for this flight. And when we get there, we'll try to take down Nathanos. Also, I've stopped pronouncing it Nathanos. I think in like an older video, I would, uh, I frequently, I still to this day want to do this. I feel like he's like Spanish or something or Mexican. And I'm like in my head, I feel like it's like, um, what's it called? Is it a tilde? Is that the, the little squiggly line over the N? So I always call him Nathanos, but it's Nathanos apparently. So I still think Nathanos is way more fun. I don't know. Anyway, um. I'm going to speed up the video. I want to hide my face. I don't look so goofy and speed and stuff going on here. Um, we'll be back in a few minutes. Please enjoy the music. I'll say, eight minutes goes pretty fast when you're browsing stupid stuff on your phone. Uh, what is this? The Thanos Play Color Slime. So this is actually like a... Like, we need, like, some help for this. Gotta get over there real fast. Sure, reset it, I don't care. My group is currently forming, that's fine. So this is like, oh, uh, did they just kill him? Everyone's dropping group. That makes me so sad when that happens. Or are they just failing? Are they killing him? Dang it, did I just miss it? <laughs> Man! <laughs> Ugh. I hate when that happens. I've had that happen so many times. Where I... Let's get out of here. 
I was going to say, how am I just going to shoot up kill Nathanos myself? Let's see what happens. Someone's got to start the group. Might as well be me. Yeah, I'd love to do this quest. Uh, I think we just missed the group doing it. How do I convert this to raid? Here we go. Yeah, Plague Fang and Blight Hell. He's got some buddies. A raid group just killed him. Probably. A minute ago. Just missed it. Sad face. Alright, um... So, I don't really know what to do in, the free, in my free time here. Like, what, am I, what do I do with this? <laughs> I, I have no concept of how difficult this guy is. Uh, like, really, I have no idea. What's the reward for doing this, though? Sentinel Equipment Cash. But it's also a quest over here. I don't get five Argent Commendations, which would be enough, not quite enough for me to get another piece of gear. Someone died. Sad. How'd you die, bro? <laughs> Group is forming up. What is this? Look at all these... Buffs this guy has poisons. Or... He's getting blasted though. Oh. Alright, group is forming up. Look at me guys. Look at this. I am coordinating <laughs> by doing absolutely nothing except just having a group in a menu and waiting for people to click accept or join, but Oh yeah. Uh, how many folks we need for this? Folks. Showing my age a little bit here. <laughs> I wonder if I have to actually raid lead this. Like, if people join, join. Good, good, good. More people, more people. Uh, oh, look at the necropolis. Congratulations. You managed to track me to the most unlikely of places. <laughs> my very own home. My very own home. Sure. Taking retribution for all the bad, bad things I've done, I suppose. How frightfully predictable. I have been waiting a long time. We're gonna get blasted for sure. <laughs> Guess we're doing it. <clears throat> Someone said we need a lot of people, but sure. Let's put a curse on him. Slow his attack. Oh my gosh. Yeah, this is scary. This should increase my crit chance here. Right, why not? Right? Gotta be critting. I hope these people don't know what they're doing because I don't know what I'm doing. That hits hard, whoa. Maybe I want Curse of Tongues in this guy. Do I have Curse of Tongues on my hot bar? I don't know if I do. Alright, like maybe I want to slow his cast speed. That seems better. He doesn't seem to be... I don't know if he's meleeing a lot or not. I can't really tell because I don't know what I'm doing, but... I have Voidwalkers up there blasting, so that's good. What I basically need to do, you know, what I want to do is move Dark Sprint over here. Yeah, there we go. So I want to keep Curse of Tongues up. Oh, why is that on my hop bar? What am I doing? There we go. Oh. So Dark Sprints 4, Dark Flight, whatever. 
I probably shouldn't group other people, right? Like, I kind of want to stay away from them, so there's less chance of... Oh, I'm setting on poison. That's bad, I think. Yeah. Whew. Can we just, like, zerg this guy down? Just, like, <laughs> just straight up send, like, uh... Oh, Curse of Tom, let's reapply that. Keep that up. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's useful. I think I know what I'm, I think I'm being helpful. <laughs> I think. Uh, but yeah, I'm wondering if I, I basically need to not stand near other people. So there's less chance of AoE targeting me, right? That seems pretty logical. Did I just put this on the tree? Oh. I dropped my uh, Cataclysm on the tree. That was sad. Alright, increased crit chance. Let's go, Chaos Bolts. Ooh, yeah. Move, move, move. Someone said we need a lot of people for this, but it seems like we're doing okay. Like, I don't know. Uh, let's keep Curse of Tongues up. I can't tell if it's actually if it works, if it actually slows his spells, but I'm guessing it does. Oh, what did I just get buffed with? Heroism. Haste increased by two seconds. Oh, gotta move, gotta move. Let's drop the infernal. Grimthick's still out there. Oh, poison. No. Run. Grimthick's out there blasting. That's not what I like to see. Let's refresh Curse of Tongues, move out of the way, that poison. Hey, we're kind of making this happen. Oh, move, move, move. I mean, I, I, I guess it should be, like, not surprising this is going to work, but it is working. All right. Curse of Tongue is about down. I'm going to refresh that. I'm sure there's a lot of nice add-ons that'll tell you when things like that are running out, you know? Like, a nice, nice big display, but... Okay. That was scary. <laughs> What's happening here? Ooh! Who just... Whoa. Now. Now it's getting interesting. <laughs> I didn't even see see her out there. Ooh. <laughs> Little bit of Moonfire action there. Just maybe Starfire? What's a Moonfire? It seemed instant cast. Was she even out there? I didn't see her in the fight. Maybe I wasn't paying attention. Nathana's straight up gonna die here? Of course. In the darkest place. Along with every soul burned to ash in your precious tree. Ooh. Where is she? <laughs> Go on. Kill me. You'll send me right to my lady. Beyond the veil. She shattered. Where is she? I actually don't know. Tyrande has not taken this. Dang. Yeah, I saw that coming, you know, but uh... <laughs> well, she doesn't mess around anymore. I feel like she's a much different character than uh... Let's say 14 years ago, when, uh, 15 years ago, when WoW launched? 16 years ago, <laughs> when WoW launched? Oh, he's been defeated. Yay. Is there, like, some loot here to grab or something? I don't see any. Oh, there's his. Yeah, I guess that's the end of it. Okay. Uh. What I... 
Um, Sentinel Spellblade. Where did I get that? What? I you receive loot. Sentinel Spellblade. Okay. So I got it from completing that. That's cool. One handed sword. Oh, there's a boy. Let's get out of here. <laughs> um, nice. Okay, so we got a new weapon. That looks kind of cool. I like that. Cool. Awesome. Uh, now what? Um, I guess we gotta go back here and turn on the quest. How do we get back to Stormwind? There's a portal probably somewhere that... Oh, man. Dang it. That's what I would have liked as a portal, but I was watching the cutscene. Okay, uh... <laughs> So, I have a dollar in it. Where's my, uh, okay, hold on a sec. How do I, get, you know, I want to try something here. There's, if I go to dollar rent, where's the portals there? This is what always gets me, always gets me. How do I, oh, it's the Legion. Yeah, yeah. Do I have the Legion? Okay. Where are the portals from here? Let's see if I can remember this right. Okay, so it actually even tells me how to get there. That's convenient. <laughs> um, is this the right room? Oh, this doesn't seem right. Yeah, it's like, it does not seem right. So the portal I need is like right there. Grey Main Enclave, right? So is it like the next building over? I'm trying to find a faster way to get there that doesn't, this looks right, that doesn't require me to uh, fly back there. Heck yeah, look at me. Is that actually my real damage? Did I really deal that much damage compared to other people? If I was really third on the damage meters, I'm hyped about that. I can't imagine that was the case, but... Okay. So let's go turn in this quest. And I guess now, I would just be doing daily quests the rest of the way. New player left in Legion. Do I have to buy WAD to play Shadowlands or just buy Shadowlands? I mean, BFA. <laughs> um... I believe you can just buy Shadowlands to play. Like if you don't have BFA, you can buy Shadowlands and you're caught up. You don't have to buy BFA first. I think if you buy Shadowland, you can play Shadowlands. You do not need BFA. I'm almost 100% sure that's correct. Like 99.9% .9 sure. It'd be impossibly hard then for like old players to come back if they had to buy every expansion to play the modern expansion. I think they just, they roll it all in usually. I mean, I, I'm all, really like 100% sure that's true. I see other people are saying the same thing down here in chat. Alright, so I think that's the end of all of the pre-patch content outside of just doing daily quests, right? Like, that seems correct to me. Um, and I don't have enough to buy another piece of gear, but I've gotten two pieces of gear. I mean, I went from 60 to 66 item level today, which is nice. Uh, frankly, I'm not kind of complaining about that. What is this? Is there a daily quest here? What? Or is it like a fishing quest? What can I do for you? Digging for worms. Huh. That's interesting. This is a random, repeatable quest. Um, I'm going to talk to the Quartermaster real quick. We're about wrapped up for today. Um, as always, I want to thank all my Patreon supporters, especially Chris S., Luke D., and Nikolai S., who are my top-tier supporters. Um, but I always appreciate the support from those three and from everyone that's been 
uh, following along just as a subscriber here or uh, as a Patreon supporter. It's definitely appreciated. So thank you all. Um, as for us, so I guess what I want to try to do, I've only got a few days left of the pre-patch, unfortunately, so I don't know how much I can get done in the next few days, but I'm going to try to grab as much of this gear on, as I can. I may do this on my own, um, just like the daily quests, and I'm just going to try and buy as many upgrades as I can. I might get the putrid guys for fun, but I, I like the pets I have. I don't really need more. I don't know what the Anthodium Broom does. I don't know if I care that much. I think I'd really prefer just to get as much gear as I can at this point. Um, to make the leveling and shadow lands a little bit easier on us. Uh, I guess I can just vendor off some of this stuff. At some point soon, I'm considering, like, maybe on my own, just going through and doing, like, all of these quests that I've been, like, stacked up forever. Um, when is the calendar for the Darkmoon Fair's return? Oh, the 16th anniversary ends. Pilgrim's Bounty begins. Darkmoon Fair is not for one, two, three weeks. Okay. Because so I eventually need to go in there and just turn in some of these things that I've got that are Darkmoon Fair related. Um, Black Empire campaign. Probably should do that eventually. Yeah, I might do a few quests just on my own. Just like trying to clear my quest log before Shadowlands gets here. Try to um, figure out my rotation a little better and then do daily quests as much as I can. Uh, I need to figure out how to do all the daily quests, because I actually don't really know how to do the daily quests that well. Like, <laughs> like to be honest, I don't know if there's more than just the ones that I already did today. Because um, if they're elsewhere, it'd be nice to do them, you know? Like, if they're in other zones that I'm just unaware of. But, um, we'll see about that. Anyway, what am I looking for here? There we go. Paralysis, okay. Anyway, I'm gonna do some stuff, as you can see here, on my own, get a few things kind of cleaned up for Shadowlands. Can I get prepped? Comes out in a few days, so. Anyway, uh, that is all for today. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.